cheap homesteading. You can't get any cheaper than homesteading with a mobile home. Why? Because you can put your money into your land, your animals, and your lifestyle. You can have a small homestead with a mobile home. It's the way to go. Sometimes people try to find farmettes. They're expensive. People don't have money to have a farmette or to buy a farm. But if you buy a mobile home on some piece of ground, you're good to go because it's so much cheaper. So what's another thing I love about this mobile home? And I love about mobile home living. One thing is it's not quite tiny living, but yet you're living small. Tiny living is so small, but a mobile home is about a thousand square feet and that's including the out porch. And I really love it because it's small living, small expenses, but yet we have room to do the things that we would like to do. So our, to heat our house, it takes very little. It takes very little to keep the house running because it's so small. So that's another thing I love about mobile home living. The thing I love about mobile home living is the garden. I'm able to spend so much time out in my garden. I'm not worried about the house because it's so small. I'm able to do all of my chores inside the house and then spend the rest of the day out here. As you see, it's winter time and so my garden is dormant, but it's a large garden and I'm able to homestead here with not the high cost that you can find at a farmette. So yes, mobile home homesteading is a way to go of running a mobile home that gives you more money in the bank or that gives you more money to do the things that you really enjoy doing and you know what when you're living in a mobile home you're not slavery to all those bills I have very little bills in fact very little bills so for me it's cash and for me it's able to live a life that I dreamed of living and that is being outside and enjoying nature and being homesteading and being all of those things that I've always wanted to be you live in a big mansion you always have to worry about all those bills so you're running around and around and around to pay the bills to live in a home that you can't even enjoy because you're still trying to pay the bills they look great on the outside but you know what on the inside constant worrying and stressing over how you're going to afford the lifestyle that you live it takes away from your life the stresses that many modern people have and living in a mobile home has helped me develop that I'm able to do all the fun things that I want to do and you know what? It's really nice living as well. So let me show you how nice you can make your mobile home. And it doesn't cost you hardly anything. So another thing about living in a mobile home, so many people talk about depreciation. Well, if you have your own mobile home on your own ground, it only appreciates because the ground will always appreciate. Buying land always appreciates over time. And having a mobile home on your own land, is that's the key. That's the key to having appreciation and not depreciation. One thing I love about living in a mobile home. One thing I love is all of the windows. I love all of the windows in a mobile home. You can open them up and it brings such breezes. And since I have large trees that give a lot of shade, I love having my mobile home and all of the windows. See behind me is all the windows. So my mobile home has such cross ventilation. You have it everywhere. And so you never get that stuffy feeling that's inside a mobile home. So what else do I love about mobile homes? The thing I also love about mobile home living is the taxes. The taxes are really cheap because I mostly pay taxes on my land because it shows as land with an amendment on it. So the mobile home, since it's so old, has depreciated so much, I pay very little taxes on it. So taxes is the number one. Property taxes are great if you have a mobile home. What else do I love about a mobile home? There's so many other things. Let me show you something else I like about it. One thing I really like about mobile homes is they have that very homey feel to them. Most mobile homes have a very homey feel to it. It just makes you feel welcome when you walk into one of them. You know, the stereotypes of living in a mobile home, I think a lot of those stereotypes are leaving in the society that we live in now. You know, back 30 years ago, people who lived in mobile homes, they always took a bad rap. And, but you know, I think times are changing and I think people are starting to see that mobile home living is a nice way of living. It's a comfortable way of living and it's very frugal as well.
drawback in having a mobile home. That by far is storms. When you're living in a mobile home, you don't have the protection like you would if you had a house. Thankfully for me, I never really had to face any kind of storms where I had to evacuate. To evacuate the first year we were here, we had a really bad ice storm. And at that time, we didn't have our trees trimmed. And so we had to leave our home. But we live in a hollow, so we have a ridge behind us with lots and lots of trees. So up on the hollow, up on the ridge, we're down into a hollow, which is really hard to see in my videos. But this protects us because the wind actually goes way above our mobile home and goes across. And so that's why my mobile home looks so good for as old as it is, as it's protected by the ridge up here. So that is one blessing that we have. So my mobile home doesn't get the high winds. Those winds can rip and roar, and it doesn't hit us right here because we're in this little hollow behind the ridge. Well, there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video sharing with you the delights of owning a mobile home and all of the pluses of having one. And of course, the minus. You know, there's so many more things I could talk about, and I'm sure I will in the months to come, about the purchasing and the enjoyment of a living in a mobile home. But now, let's get started once again with Fanny's Diaries, because we are on January the 10th, 1944. So I'm going to try something a little different. Since this is a three-year diary, I'm just going to read you the same day for all three years. So we're on January the 10th, 1942. We changed our frozen food from the Mountjoy locker to the E-Town locker. January 10th, 43. We had hog stomach down at Mountville for dinner and it was good. 1944, Fanny writes. Today at church, Paul Unks was here and also his grandson. Lizzie came and we all had a meal afterwards and it was delicious. Fanny often talks about having food in a locker, and a lot of people don't understand. Back in those days, they didn't have their own freezers. They would rent a space, just like a post office. It was a box, but it was a locker that was frozen. So in those days, they would take their food, they would put it in there to freeze it, and they would store their food there. And that's what a lot of people did in those days. So they would go once a week to their own little box, which was frozen, and they would get out the food that they needed. And then, of course, came the introduction of the home freezer, which they were able to have in their own home. And what a revolutionary idea that was for so many people. You know, back in those days, everything was built on community. You know, the community town squares, where the post office was, where the freezer locker was. Things are so different these days. Could you take one second and just do me a favor? Could you look right down below this and see, make sure you're still subscribed? A lot of people over the months say that YouTube has unsubscribed them. Just make it look and make sure you're still subscribed. Also, can you give me a like? Can you give me a thumbs up? I know it takes just a little extra moment of your time, but it does make a real difference in my videos. My videos are free for everyone, and by doing this really helps make a difference in my channel. Also, the notification bell. Click on your notification bell right beside the subscriber button. That also helps me with my YouTube. YouTube takes my subscribers more seriously if they are notified of my videos. All these things can help me in a big financial way, and it doesn't cost you one cent.